right? Area is always from the center for, for polar, right? Always from the center. It's not up and down. It's not left and right. It's from center out. Center out. Yes, Claire? Um, so far, all the ones I've seen, yes. But I can't obviously predict. Right. What, what's the date of our test? Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Not the AP test, the chapter oh. 10 test. Well, the chapter 10 test isn't until way after the AP test. It's probably like two oh, weeks later. Chapter 10. Oh. Yeah, it's sometime mid May. What are you after? <laughs> 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 all right. Okay. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Can you take me with? I'll be going to the set of the car
because remember we're going on the, the line theta equals pi out four. That's how when we graph it, it is, but yeah, I know. It's okay. I know. It, you remember polar coordinates? If I graph point four pi, that means I'm on the line theta equals pi with a radius of four. But you could also be zero negative. I mean, I know after you plug it. Yeah, I know, but if we're going to go from two pi thirds, then we have to be consecutive. If you can't go from two pi thirds all the way to zero, you get it wrong. But wouldn't that be all the way to zero? Wait, wait, wait. If we plug it in as zero. Yeah, you plug it as zero, you get zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was just saying that. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't start doing that kind of stuff. If you went to zero, you'd actually get all of that. Yeah, I prefer to be a cinder block shape. Okay. Good. Cinder block. <laughs> oh, so even more dense than I thought. Some people, one last thing, I'm going to make sure this is on video too. Some people asked me about actually doing the integral on their calculator. When you do an integral on your calculator, your input doesn't have to be theta. It can be x, it can be q, it can be z, it can be theta. The actual integration process numerically gives you the same answer no matter what letter or variable you're using, right? Less so it's so <laughs> <laughs> variable. Okay. I can do So anyway, uh, yeah, so you can do d theta or you can just I just type them in with x's and do dx. Right? Whatever is fine. Okay. All right, we have to move on. Uh, have we even started the lesson? No, we haven't started the lesson yet. Oh, we have to watch it. 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 All right, here we go. Lesson. What? Don't we already know these two? No, that was just an extension of yesterday. That was Mr. Thomas. Wait, and then you missed the lesson. What? Wait, Ms. Price. All right, well, tonight's homework, actually, the first half is just more area anyway, right? So it's like a continuation of yesterday. Yes, Dean. So I plugged in the cosine of i in my calculator. I got 1.54. Okay, can we work on that later and focus on our lesson right now? No, that's what I'm asking you. I don't know why. I know. I was like, oh, what if we put i in this? Okay, okay. I will take a look at it in a few minutes. All right. Okay. Well, I have to leave in like five minutes. Uh, we'll have to look at some. All right. Arc length. First arc length formula. Parametric arc length formula. Polar arc length formula. Okay. Rectangular. Parametric. Polar. Is that just like the entire? Are we done now? Yeah, actually, we are. We're going to do one example and then we're done. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, that legit? Oh, we're going to do one example. Yes, like yes. Tomorrow's lesson is fine. Tomorrow's lesson is fine. The first time part is a little bit harder, and then the second part is like really easy. Wait, what happens if you don't take that into account? Do you take that into account? Can you still find you? Can you find you? Can you still 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 find you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have to do that. Oh, I thought you guys were like, no, we're done. Okay. okay. All right. I need you back. Good. Everyone have this down. No, no. These are the same as the old ones. I mean, it's not new. This, I just put them up there so you can see a comparison side by side. The bird waits for no one. <laughs> yeah. Write these down a little bit. Yeah. All the, well, you don't have to write these two. These are in your notes from like a week ago. This is the new one. Uh, I will be able to write this down. Good afternoon. You will not see my fresh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Is there any reason why only the polar one uses the Greek numerals? Oh, yeah, because we, we use five plates. We tend to use A and B for X values and alpha and beta for theta values. Wait, yes. who came up with the polar coordinates? Yeah, why? Mr. Pole? Mr. Pole, actually? <laughs> wow, you are gullible. You know, one day I'm going to wake up and be like, I want to create health. I honestly don't know. I'll have to look into the history. Oh. <laughs> Cartesian coordinate is named after Rene Cartesian. Yeah. Oh, there's one. And I was I was thinking today that did I was it in this class or another class where I was saying rectangular that it's called the rectangular <coughs> system because we use rectangles to calculate area. Yeah. And then the polar because we use the pole. I said it. Oh, you know. <laughs> I, no, I think it's polar because I think it's original from the South. Hi Hippocrates? Oh no, let's see. Oh, oh, <laughs> what other Greek philosophers are there? Oh. Wow, uh, it was created in 190 BC. We had uh, polar coordinates. Yeah, although it doesn't, I don't think, it doesn't seem like, it seems like he was using it to map out the stars. So it might not entirely be the same. Wait, so they came before rectangular. Uh, I don't know. I, I doubt it. Because Rene Descartes was way out of that. Yeah, he was. Wait, I'm not going to be on the task call for you. Okay, oh. Okay, Pi, please. Here we go. So we're going to, I want you to set up, find the length of the curve, r equals 8 times 1 plus cosine theta on 0 to 2 pi. I don't want you to evaluate yet. I just want you to write the integral that would give this to you. All right, you're welcome to graph if you want to. So you can use your calculator if you need to graph. Uh, I don't know. I'm a visual oh, person. I like to see a graph, but you don't need a graph. Yes, sure. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Are you saying Excuse me? What? Oh, I'm saying thank you. Happy hunger. Happy hunger. Yep, that's why I said Brian. No, you said happy hunger. He is not a Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Hamburger. Hamburger. All right, John, your integrals. Write it down. Okay. Now, once you have your integral written down, there are some gotchas. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to make you integrate this by hand. It's one integral. Uh, I have not actually done this 0 to 2 pi, and I'm kind of curious if it works 0 to 2 pi. I did 0 to pi and doubled because it is symmetric, and you can do that. Uh, 0 to 2 pi can mess with you. And the reason it can mess with you is a lot of times you'll do an integral from 0 to 2 pi and get 0. Because everything's the same at 0 and 2 pi. And so if you end up doing an integral from 0 to 2 pi and you get 0, see if you can do half of it and double it. Because some, then if the, that's where the symmetry really is your friend, right? So I didn't try this. I'm kind of curious if it works or not. But... Uh, Anyway, so there's a whole little thing about here. Oh, you can you have to no calculator for evaluating. Ha ha ha. Okay. So, uh, all right. Uh, when you get this simplified, you're going to get to a point where you end up with just a, a fairly simple root of some stuff, and then you're not going to know what to do. There's two options. They're both fine. So when you have a, an integral of a root, gentlemen, 
When you have an integral of a root, you've got a couple options. You really have several options, right? I haven't done, I didn't do trig sub on this, um, but I guess you could. You'd have to do. It'd be tricky because nothing is squared inside, so that would be you'd have a lot of square roots of cosines, which wouldn't be pretty. But that would, okay. So anyway, um, so sometimes you could do trig sub. It's not happy on this one. Uh, you could rationalize, multiply top and bottom by a conjugate of the root, right? Or you could try applying a reverse power reduction identity. Well, what is which, um, So if you guys remember how we, we know cosine squared is 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2 theta, right? So if you have an integral, and then the same kind of similar thing for sine, right? So if you have an integral that looks something like this, or maybe it's off by just an angle, if you can rewrite, say you just had theta, you could think of it as like 2 times theta over 2, that kind of a thing, then you can kind of sometimes backwards work it, like where you have this and you write it as replace it with that kind of a thing. So that works. Rationalizing work, they both work fine. None is really that much easier than the other. But uh, so hop to it. Do this integral, and then you'll be free. So did you say to do it from 0 to pi? I did it from 0 to pi. Yeah, you can do it from 0 to 2 pi. Just try it and see what happens. I mean, the actual evaluating doesn't look really relevant. Right? I just want to know what I'm Be very careful to square properly. Make sure your coefficients are all accurate. I like a shirt. This is where you get to where I was talking about. Yeah, just 
I want to do it's actually all those are all the same identity. It's all one identity that's been rewritten in like a bunch of different ways. Yeah, so you're really doing the same thing. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see, where are we? Wait, how did you get a fraction? Oh, you're rationalizing? Oh my god. Okay, before we rationalize, let's clean this up first. Because life would be a lot easier if we clean this up. So, uh, we have 64 plus 128 cosines, 64 cosines squared is 64 sine squared. And then you can pull one train. Okay. Okay, guys, bell's gonna ring. I do have to go over the answer. I have no clue. I I think they Okay. 